Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Come on. It's raining and pouring, and Promere snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed and wet himself. Good morning. See you with him again, and you'll regret it. Chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Easy on the insults. I could add to your misfortune. Any suspects? 
Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a ploughing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Damn deer have stripped the bark off my trees again. Blueprints. A man's. Large. We'll eat myrtle grass during the hungry gap. They took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Drowners, but he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Lost his boots in the rush. Who knows? Will you go to the well in Hovel instead? Not in your life. I'd like to be a ghost. Tracks lead back to the village. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Decently. That is what you folk lack. When he started twisting and squirming, so wham bam, they knocked his head off. Oh, so it worked. Except it was some drowner that had sucked on the kid. Witcher had naught to do with it. What did the folk do? Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. 
I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Calm down. Now follow me. I gotta... Apologize. Gotta go. Apologize. Looking for trouble. Durban. Nilfgaard. My grand was from Nazaire. Oh, so that's how it is. Then by my leave, Master Durban. May the gold sun guide you far away from my land. Please, don't hurt me. May the sun shine upon you. Where you walk? Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey! Soldier, a minute of your time, please. No, Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. D didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And... I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Come on, Roach. It's raining, it's pouring, and burning. Goodman's boy knows a merchant who travelled to North Gardens. Last time I blamed out anything. Give you. Something moved. Hey! Anyone home? 
Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night of all the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. He was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have read me, cos next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I sees he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Fascinating story. Any chance you're nearing the end? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with sort, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. What's that, dearie? Nothing, nothing. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. His but when throat. I got to me, son, he was garroted. They say I'm going barring. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. Documents almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have you? Ah, the priceless frying pan. Hm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Found the pan, have you? His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. Found the pan, have you? Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents, too. And... and the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. Hang about! 
You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny. For the road. Try up a nice white fish for supper.